Never has one team dominated the National Hockey League as the Boston Bruins did, while winning a record 57 games and setting 37 team and individual records. The Bruins met Montreal in the Stanley Cup playoffs. Siegel, they cleared in the Bruins, do the Perrier. Oh. Intercepted by Hodge, Hodge, shoot, goal! down with Frank Mahovlich hitting that Boston line. The mayor in for Frank Mahovlich. He scores! Mahovlich! Here they come, crossing the blue line. There was some argument from the Bruins that it was offside, but you could see it wasn't. The shovel shot by Lemaire and Mahovlich on a baseball swing, giving Cheevers no chance as he changes direction for Mahovlich, his sixth goal of the series, and it's 1-1. Peter Mahovlich got away from Busey, away from Sanderson, over the line. Mahovlich shooting it. And let's see, score. Let's see. Now he scores. Finally, the light goes on. Frank Mahovlich gives it into Lemaire. Lemaire trying to pass it back. It's at the line. J.C. Trombley moving in, takes the shot. He scores! Frank Mahovlich was in front. I don't think he touched it, but he seemed to screen Cheevers. And Canadians lead it 3-1. to one. Watch Trombley on his move right there against Hodge and his quick shot into the top left-hand corner. Mahovlich has six goals in the playoffs. Now it's Dallas Smith swinging it over to the boards to Bobby Orr. Orr back to Dallas Smith. It goes to Orr. He's poke check. Here's Lemaire coming in to Frank Mahovlich. He scores! Orr losing it. And Lemaire to Frank Mahovlich. What a beautiful combination after Jacques Lemaire had hopped on that loose puck. Here it is on the play. Poked away by Mahovlich in the first instance. Dallas Smith frantically trying to get back. Lemaire on the fake shot, drawing Cheevers out. And the wide open net as the Big M scores his second of the afternoon, his seventh of the playoffs. Look at it again. You'll see the great pass by Lemaire. And the Canadians lead 4-1. And Montreal won the series four games to three. But Bobby Orr, who set six individual records during the season, was able to negotiate a new contract with the Bruins, five years for $1 million. Orr won the Hart Trophy as the most valuable player for the second time, the James Norris as the top defenseman for the fourth time. Meanwhile, Henri Richard lit a fire under his Montreal teammates with a declaration team coach Al McNeil was incompetent. The Canadians went seven games with the Chicago Blackhawks. 55 seconds left in the penalty. Dennis Hall over on the right side for Coral. Back it goes to Bobby Hall. Who's shot? Here's Dennis Hall shooting. right down on the original shot. Let's see if we can pick up the carom a little better here, right there, and it is into the corner of the net. Hoppen gets it off his stick. Here's Churn swinging a shot in there wide. Hit Martin around the net, right over the front of his He goes! before Harper. Bounces it out, and before LaPerriere, who sweeps at it and misses, can get to it, O'Shea's low shot catches the bottom corner. Well, they're leading the attack now. Comes down, winds up for the shot. Scores! LaMare, a long shot. And Canadians right back into contention. It's 2-1 to one for Chicago. That makes it 2-1, to one, a tough break for Tony Esposito. That has to be the longest goal scored in this playoff year into a net occupied by a goaltender as Lemaire winds up just as he hits the red line and lets it go about 15 feet in front of the blue line. Esposito's on his knees. Tying goal for Montreal, coming with the teams playing five aside as Eric Nesterenko loses control of the puck and it comes off the boards at a sharp angle to Lemaire. And with Richard all alone in front of the net, he has no trouble beating Tony Esposito. Let's look at it again and see if we can pick up the angle that the puck hops off the boards right there. There's where the Canadians got the biggest break as it went right to Lemaire and Richard sweeping it in as soon as he gets it. And very suddenly here, in the last six minutes or so of the second period, two goals by Montreal, and it's 2-2. The point, starting out with Hull, Coral. He's tied up behind the net. Here's Richard going in on goal. He shoots. He scores! Richard. For 
Ferguson and Coral were tied up behind Dryden, and Hockett Richard gets his second goal, and Montreal leads three to two. As Esposito fell, he gave him that hesitation and fired it back behind him, as it were, up into the top right-hand corner of the net. Three seconds. Hoppin takes the shot. Dryden has it. The game is over. Montreal wins the Stanley Cup. Well, Danny, I'll just say a quick word here because I have to hustle way downstairs here in the Chicago Stadium to join Ward Cornell for the interviews. And we hope to have the announcement of the Godsmite Trophy winner. The Montreal Canadiens have done it for only the second time in NHL history. A seventh game has gone to the visiting team. Victory for the Canadiens was particularly sweet for team captain John Bellavo, who was getting ready for retirement. Bellavo announced his retirement on June 9th, exactly one month after the Canadians had won the Stanley Cup for the 11th time since Bellavo joined the team.